Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Aziza, you can't see my face because lately I have been doing just desk videos. I've received feedback that, <laughs> quote unquote, we don't need your face there, no offense. So I'm just trying this out to see if you like it more, if you just wanna see my desk and the packaging and the pen. So today, we are taking a look at a new-ish pen, and this pen is on loan from Applebaum Pennen in the Netherlands, also in Boston, and I actually requested this pen. So yes, this is going to be a somewhat biased review or video because I wanted this pen. If you can't tell from the packaging, actually you probably can't tell from the packaging, it is a Scribo, so the Scribo stands for Scritura Bolognesia. I cannot pronounce that properly. And this particular pen is La Dota Campanula. <laughs> so let's just skip over that. Uh, the packaging for Scribo pens is pretty fantastic. It's very snug and compact. So the packaging is as follows. You get a sleeve. You get this nice box that says Scribo, feel the writing. And if you open it up, all of this is cardboard. You open it up and what you get is your pouch, which is packaged in tissue paper. So it's really nicely presented without being excessive. Excessive. It's very um, tidy. It's very fitted to the side of the pen. Underneath you have the paperwork. So inside the little sleeve you have your guarantee your information about your pen this is the italian side and here is the english side like use and maintenance how to fill the converter or uh, in this case we have a piston and just your warranty and stuff like that so it's very uh, like it's it's really efficient I think is the word I want to use. I, I really like it. I really like how it's presented. And I will show you the pen sleeve in just a minute. So it's a little wrap. I'm going to toss this out of the way. It's a little wrap. I love the color. I love the little leather thong. So inside you have a two pen little stitched area. And what you will have is what you, or what you will get is your pen will be in one of the slots and inside here is a polishing cloth you could put if you have the cartridge converter version you could put cartridges in here or like some ink sample vials it's it's just a nice little pouch and it comes with your pen so the pen let's pull it out and take a look at it tossing all the paper oh i dropped the box oh well uh, <laughs> the pen is quite lovely. <clears throat> Every maybe couple months, Scriber releases a new pen finish. Uh, sometimes it's in the Pioma model, which is their cartridge converter. And in this case, it is the feel model, which is their piston filler. So here is the backstory. Once again, Scribo takes us to the roots of the city of Bologna. Over 500 years ago, Ulissi Aldrovandi, a leading figure in modern science who is still considered a reference for contemporary Italian naturalists, was born in Bologna. Many flowers and plants studied and catalogued by Ulissi Aldrovandi can be seen today at the Botanical Garden of Bologna which he himself founded in 1568 to provide students with a practical tool for cultivating and analyzing the plants treated during the lessons. Nature never ceases to amaze us, and every time we look at it, we find a source of inspiration. So the new collection, so this particular pen, is inspired by two wonderful flowers, the Campanula bononiensis and Nymphaea, which is water lily. Uh, the pen is made from a mother of pearl and iridescent lilac material dedicated to the bell-shaped flowers of the Campanula, which was given a name linked to the city of Bologna. Now, there are only 219 pens of each of the colors. So, um, 
it's not limited edition it's like limited production i guess they are not numbered as far as i can see and we will look over the pen a little bit more in detail um okay so let's actually we might as well look at it now so we have this kind of bulbous shape the first time i reviewed this pen uh several years ago <laughs> the bulbous shape kind of freaked me out and the really really weird thing is it's kind of grown on me and i don't know if it's because the materials have become more appealing or if it's just really comfortable but it has grown on me and i don't mind it as much as i used to it's a very comfortable pen so it is a flat top you have the oh you can't see it sorry hang on the scribo logo on the top which is like a quill and the clip is really springy so the clip can actually bend out of place but it does work well if you don't overstretch it uh, center band says scribo feel the writing made in italy and the last piece of trim is on the piston turning knob you can see that this is a particularly chateauant piece of material quite pretty slightly translucent i don't know if you can see the piston through here but uh, from my direction i can see it and um, you can kind of see the nib peeking through the nib itself is uh, the um, i have the 18 karat gold upgraded version so this particular one is the triple broad there is an upcharge there is an upcharge for the triple broad nib of about 105 us dollars so this particular one is the triple broad it has a single slit round breather hole it is engraved with feel the writing scribo 18 karat 750 and triple broad on the side of the nib and it's fitted with an ebonite feed so the pen setup as i have it is about 700 us dollars it may vary depending on your VAT and your taxes and all that, but this is what I have set up here. So the section is not super thick. So if you're looking at the pen body compared to the section, it uh, is quite proportional and it's quite nice. Um, this is not really steep here. The gap is not really steep. And I actually find the pen really comfortable. So even though I used to dislike the bulbous shape, it is a comfortable pen here is ah! <laughs> the balance is pretty decent and it does not post so i don't even know why i checked i knew it doesn't post i don't know why you would post this anyway i quite enjoy the pen now let me just give you a looky at some other comparable pens so what we have <coughs> sorry a jinhao x159 Mont Blanc 149. This is the Pilot Custom 743. Here is the Scribo Feel. Here's the Mont Blanc 146. Lamy Safari, Jinhao X750, Twisby 580, Platinum Preppy, Quebec Sport, and Pilot Metropolitan. So it is a tall pen. It is a thicker pen. So it's it's a full size. I even the Mont Blanc 149 is like an oversized. I, for some reason, don't feel like this is oversized. Maybe it's the shape because when you uncap it, it's not that huge. It's, it's, it's comparable to the 149. So I don't know. I could just be nuts. I use a lot of different size pens and I don't really have issue with them. I just adjust my writing and my, um, angles as needed so anyway there you go you get to see kind of a look see as to how it looks with other pens now this pen comes in well all scribos come in a huge range of nibs you are looking at um, extra extra fine fine medium broad triple broad stub and then the 14 karat fine extra fine medium broad which are flexi so there's a lot of options if you're looking for nib options i think they do a fantastic job of making that available yes you do have to pay up charges i'm trying to find a comfortable spot here to write you do have to pay an upcharge for certain nib 
grades, but not all of them. Now, let's do the writing. You're going to see in the side, sh side shots, the nib shape is quite stubby. It's a thick triple broad. So it does have a sweet spot. So I'm going to show you how the nib writes on the sweet spot and off the sweet spot. So let's start with the actual sweet spot, which is really high up. So you have to hold it kind of like a music nib, which is almost um, a 90 degree angle to the page. So I'm sort of doing a playful handwriting style here. Scribble feel la dota campanula and we have the 18 carat B B B it is what <laughs> it is a very 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 juicy writer um, this ink is you can't see me writing because I'm trying to write on the sweet spot Mont Blanc um, it is one of the ridiculous elixirs that I thought would match really nice uh, Violet de cobalt so This is like a signature nib. This is the kind of nib you like sign your name with and sign documents with because, or, or, or write thank you letters with because it's very expressive. It's very juicy. Shows off your ink shading really, really nicely. Um, you know, it's not something that you would take notes in school with, I think. So let's do some sweet spot writing. The sweet spot is accommodating the shape of the stub so it's quite high up um, maybe unreasonable for most who would be wanting to write with this as i said i adapt pretty well to the nib and the nibs needs i think this was me and then here is off the sweet spot so at a low angle here is what it looks like it is quite juicy still, but much thinner and definitely more skippy. So I think the issue with a nib like this is someone might, someone might think, oh, I really want to get a triple broad and then they'll buy it and they'll be writing off the sweet spot like I was here and it's skipping and hard starting and they're like, wait, this is not right. But the, the shape of the nib mean and, and the shape of the grind itself that comes out of the factory means that you're supposed to write on the sweet spot. So you're really writing to get the triple broad line. If you're writing off the sweet spot, you're getting like a fine and a double broad, triple broad, if you luck out on the stroke. So I think what I really want to convey here is that it's really about setting your expectation with the nib. So sweet spot, it is wildly fun when you're writing on the sweet spot. Super juicy, beautiful shading. It is very sensitive to oils on your page, which I am encountering right now. but it's super fun. So let's go do some side writing and we will come back and we will wrap up.
okay. Um, that's pretty cool. It's really cool to see the shape of this nib from the side because the side action is very expressive. So let's, uh, let's um, wrap up. Thank you to Applebaum for loaning me this pen. If you like it or any other pen that's not a <laughs> Mont Blanc because that's the Mont Blanc rules, you can use discount code friend for 10% off. No commission, just a sweet deal for you. And I hope you had fun. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not already, I would love it if you would subscribe and let me know your thoughts of this absolutely delectable nib down below. This is serious nibbage to the max. I hope you all have a lovely day. I appreciate you very much. I am on all the social media as Gourmet Pens, Gourmet Pen Shop, Gourmet Pens Club. I've got a podcast under Gourmet Pens Club, so you should check it out. And um, I'm also on Patreon, should you be really excited about pens and want to lend a supporting dollar. Thank you so much. I will see you next time. Bye.